I seek your serious indulgence, Madam Speaker. If the minister responsible for international relations is in order for having instructed our permanent representative at the UN to vote in the manner we voted, changing the position of Zambia without coming to this August House to explain and to seek the approval of the Zambian people. I seek your serious indulgence, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Put a twist. Is I it the Minister of Foreign Affairs or the Minister of Foreign Affairs? <laughs> the Minister, um, I beg your pardon, Madam Speaker, the Minister of Foreign Affairs. I guess I'm so happy to see the Minister of uh, Home Affairs here after a while. And condolences, my brother. I seek your guidance, Madam Speaker, whether the Minister of Foreign Affairs is in order to keep our lives in danger, 18 million Zambians and the 1 million Zambians in students in the Western countries and Eastern countries, including Russia, their lives now are in danger. Should we start building bunkers in our homes now because we've been put at risk? I seek your guidance, Madam Speaker. You are the one who was saying we should round up some young men to go and fight in the war. So I don't know if you were not putting the, risks of the, the risk of those young men, at, the, the lives of those young men at risk. But anyway, from my assessment, from where I sit, it looks like there's an issue that needs to be clarified by the government. Um, I direct that the Minister of Foreign Affairs should come to the House and uh, give a, a, a ministerial statement on the matter so that we can allay all these uh, fears and concerns that have been brought to, into the house by the, the people, on, uh, the mem honorable members on the left. So the honorable minister of foreign affairs on Tuesday, since the matter is urgent, on Wednesday next week, to render a ministerial statement on the issue of the Ukraine, Russia, war and uh, what the position of Zambia on the war is.